Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks in Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily make the classification, mainly land surface temperature classification using different types of frames. So here I already completed this code and you can see this is the two map I make the classification of LST in year of 2015 and this is another map LST class in 2024. So how we can create this type of classification of LST based on the range and create this type of land surface temperature classification map using Google Earth Engine. I will try to explain all of details step by step. Then I hope you can easily do this type of analysis. Not only for that, any classification based on a specific range, you just follow the same process. So you can see this is the map for in year of 2024, and we try to classify total seven class based on the range. And also you can see this is the map for land LST map in class 2015. Okay, so we find out the lot of changes. Okay, we find out that very high temperature in year of 2024 and you can see 2015 maximum place we find out this type of yellow color basically 51.3 to 53.5 as well as we also find out this type of pink color 49.2 to 51.2 degrees celsius but you can see in 2024 it increase okay we find out the 55.9 or 58.9 this type of place also we find out that this type of color you can see it indicating about the 53.6 to 55.8 degrees celsius so now how I can create this type of things, I will try to explain, then you can easily do this type of analysis. So let's back to the code. So first of all, you, here you can see, first of all, you need to import your study area. So in this case, I simply filtered the study area for the Riyadh. So this is the Riyadh boundary, I just simply filtered. And then I just use here the Landsat image collection. Okay, for the Landsat image collection, we had just apply the cloud max function. So this is the cloud max function here you can see so this is the this function i create and then i simply uh, set equal to zero signal zero signal means that there is not much cloud it's a clear condition indicating about the clear condition so this function helped me to remove all of cloud from my landsat imagery and then this is the visualization parameter we try to add in here and then we make the data for 2024 so in this case i just simply call the landsat image collection land set a and fill the time period for my specific time period so in this case i put the time period uh, june to august and this is my study area i simply filter bounds with my study area and i take the less than one percent cloud cover imagery and this cloud max function this cloud max function simply connect with my collection using the map function and then create the median and clip with my study area then we simply apply the normal process such as make the lst Okay, so calculate the NDVI, then MCVT, then calculate the fractional vegetation. So this type of normal process we just apply in here. You already know about that. And also calculate the thermal band and the same process we apply. And then we calculate the LST map. Okay, so further the same process will also apply for in year of 2015. Just take the image collection and also filter the time period for 2015. And then we simply just calculate the all of NDVI, MCVT, then fractional vegetation, thermal 2015, same process we try to apply, and then calculate the LST for 2015. So after creating the LST, we need to create this type of classes, okay? For the classification, we just apply this, this function, you can see, this is the function which is important for calculating the classification. In this function if you check we simply create a function and then we just apply this type of things lst less than equal 31.1 to lst less than uh, equal 36.3 so just simply put the range okay based on our um, requirement okay this function this function we simply connect with our map lst map for 2024 and 2015 okay so you can see just i simply connect this is a function variable name classify LST connect with the LST map 2024 and also LST map 2015 then further we can simply visualize this type of map and we can get this type of result 
So this process you can also apply for any classification based on your specific range. In this case, I try to show you that for LST, you can also apply it for NDVI classification, NDWI classification, or anything. Just apply the same process. So this is the way, okay, you can easily create. And further, you can also export this type of map and also make the arc map or QGIS software to make the map for your research paper presentation. So this is the way. And further, you also try to add the legend and also display this map look like this way. So this is the way to create this type of classification of LST. The same thing you can also apply for NDVI or any other classification based on your specific uh, range. So this is the way. Uh, I hope this tutorial will also help you. And if you have any question or any doubt, you can simply just comment. I also give the answer about this comment. And in the meantime, I also give you an announcement for upcoming online training program. So this uh, is the online training program on Google Earth Engine for beginners to advanced level. If you have no knowledge about the Google Earth Engine or if you have no knowledge about the coding, don't worry about that. You can learn all of those from beginners to advanced level in this online training program. So this class will be start from the 11th April. So now this register is open. So you can easily join our online training program. So for that, simply contact in this WhatsApp number. You can also contact with this email. And further, you can book your seat. And this is the class duration. Basically, each day, three hours we provide. Take the class only for the Friday and Saturday in a week. You can get all of those uh, course content from this website link. I already added the link in the video description. Simply check out and then read all of course content for that each day, what you learn. So basically three hours for the live training, one hours for the problem solving class. And you can get some benefits such as you can get the course certificate. You can get that also all of materials, mainly slide, PDF. You can get the practice code. You can get also recorded class. Okay, if you miss any live session, then you can easily cover using the recorded class. And also get the live time teaching support regarding this online training program. Okay, any support for any time, you can get it. As well as you also get the research collaboration support regarding any topic. If you are interested to publish the scientific paper, regarding any topic you can get the support and further you can also make the publish the research paper so if you want to join our upcoming online training program just simply contact in this email and also contact with this whatsapp number and then jump to the google earth engine and explore the different types of advanced remote sensing analysis so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe